Hey everybody on YouTube. This is a video of the Teledyne water pick smoke alarm. I just got this smoke alarm today. Went to an open house, saw it there on the ceiling, and uh, asked the owner about it, and he said it didn't work, and so he let me have it. And at first I didn't believe him that it didn't work, but I'm starting to kind of believe him, but I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, this alarm, it's a huge unit, by the way. Compared to my hand, you can see how big it is. It's close to, I don't know, 8 inches or something, but it's enormous, and it looks kind of like a spaceship. Um, this is model D1, um, and it takes, well, on the back here, here's the bracket, and that just twists off, like so, if I can just, yeah, there it goes, just twists off, revealing the labeling on the back, and the battery compartment, and it takes six AA batteries, and here's the label, you can see smoke alarm by water pick, model number D1, Install per owner's manual, intended for household, test smoke, test with smoke weekly, weekly, pilot light, pulsing normal, a thunking sound indicates weak batteries. So, uh, replace batteries once a year, once a year with six 1.5 volt alkalines. They didn't even call them double A's, they just call them 1.5 volt alkalines. Um, caution continues to react material, 0.9 micrograms and MRCM241, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, um, this smoke alarm was, uh, well, it was made in the 70s. It has the old-fashioned squealer horn in it. And there it is again. Right here is an LED. They call it the pilot light, but it'll flash every 5 to 10 seconds. And actually, this smoke alarm uses the exact same inside, basically, as the smoke guard 800A. So if you look inside, you can see right there is the sensor. You can see that plate up at the top there. Let me see if I can get a better view of it. There you go, you can see it. And then if you look in the side of the smoke guard, you can see it has basically the same exact thing. It even takes the same battery type, six double A's. Now this smoke alarm also has the delta alarm horn, which is the exact same horn that the uh, 800A takes, or at least my 800A does. The only thing it's missing is this uh, top plate here. It does not have that. Uh, it does not have that in there, but if you look real closely, you can see the holes where you could put them, where you could put that plate, so I don't know. Anyway, this smoke alarm, okay, I can't get it to work. Well, I got it to work a little bit, but... I'm not sure I put the batteries in the right way. I think I might just need new batteries for it, but the LED flashed a few times and it just went out, so so yeah, I think the batteries might be dead, but <laughs> I'm starting to believe that guy who said that it didn't work anymore. And here's the centerpiece uh, right here, the little decorative logo or whatever, if I get this one to focus. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it says, smoke alarm by water pick. A Teledyne product, and then there's a little lines going out that way. The that, yeah, the logo. It says "Turn to Remove." Obviously, that's referring to the bracket. Um, and it has very, very wide vents here. Kind of, kind of similar to the Smoke Guard 800A that has venting all the way around it. But I don't know. So yeah, this does include that dual duo centric chamber. Not dual center. I keep wanting to say dual centric chamber, but it's duo centric chamber. And actually, I thought before I got this, I thought that this piece was a test button because it is like that is a test button in some later models. But no, nope, it's just a decorative decoration. Um, once again, looking at the back here, battery compartment. Oh yeah, here's the 
the indicator lamp will flash every five to ten seconds if battery condition and installation is correct. So yeah, I probably just need some new batteries. Um, and yeah, here's the mounting bracket. You can see it has four screw holes. They look to, to me like they're all the same width apart, so I don't need, you know why you need four. Um, it has these two big holes. You can see that my fingers are sticking out. I'm not sure what those are for. Yeah. And once again, I just can't get over how big it is. This smoke alarm is probably the biggest in my collection now. Um, it's, I mean, it's just enormous. I mean, compare even to the Smoke Guard 800A, it's enormous. So I don't even know why they took a smaller alarm like this and they just spread it out. However, this smoke alarm, no, it actually is. Well, they're about the same height, but still, I thought from it, from how how wide does it look like this one was a little bit shorter, but I don't know. It does look a lot like a spaceship. Like imagine that just on the ceiling, looking like a spaceship there. Yeah. Now. This was model D1. There was a model D2 that looked identical to this, except it instead of taking six AA batteries, it took one single 9-volt battery, so similar to your typical smoke alarm of today. And there was also a D2 Sonic Siren, it was called, and Enlind has one of those. And that was shaped a little bit differently. Instead of being like flat like this, it was sort of tall and humped over. It was like it was like that, and then it like went over like that. And that one also took a 9-volt battery, but it also had, instead of having a mechanical horn, it had a electronic horn, and it made a really interesting whoop noise to it, like a siren. Well, that's, that, that's why they call it the sonic siren. Uh, Game Alarm also has one of these. And, of course, he has his, his video has testing, and he has the actual box and the manual to it. His video has testing in it. But his seems a little bit lower pitched because I did get the horn to thunk at me a few times and my horn seems like it's a bit higher pitched. I guess that's because the Delta Alarm horns are known to be high pitched. Anyway, um, and it's about the same pitch as my smoke guard here too. Um, so I guess, once again, relationship uh, between the smoke guard and this one. Um, yeah, so... Unlike the smoke guard, there is no piece that you can, like, remove on the top. This piece is fixed in place. It would be kind of cool if you could, like, take off this little symbol in the middle, but whatever. Um, and, yeah, they both have basically the same exact, the same uh, flashing, what they call the pilot light. is actually the power indicator LED. Um, so, yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I can't test, I mean, it doesn't have a test button, obviously, because it's the exact same thing as the smoke guard. But, you, so you're supposed to use smoke to test it. Um, so I might, if I do get new batteries for it, if I do ever get it working, I can might be able to do a testing video. I'm not sure if it'll be sensitive, because as you saw in my experience with testing the smoke guard, that was a little bit disastrous because I couldn't really get it to go off that much. Um... Hopefully this one might be different since this one was painted and everything and it was in a usable space. This one was just down in a basement on a ceiling, so I don't know. This is definitely a very interesting smoke alarm. I'm glad to have it. It's enormous. Um, so yeah, I think I might call this one the spaceship because it does look like a spaceship. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the Teledyne water pick smoke alarm. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll get this alarm working so I can test it for you all. But until then, I'm just going to have to let my smoke guard speak for this one, because you can hear this one briefly go off when I'm testing it in my other video, and it sounds pretty much the same as this one. So there you go. There, That's the Teledyne water pick D1 smoke alarm. And some touching up on the smoke guard, 800A. Thanks for watching and goodbye.